Hello Fambam! Isa na namang panibagong video sa araw na ito. At for today's video, pupunta tayo ngayon sa Fishbowl Restaurant at i-review -re natin yung kanilang mga sinaserve na pagkain. And while we are on our way sa Fishbowl, panoorin nyo muna kung paano sila nagsimula. Nandito na nga tayo sa fish bowl and ang ganda ng view. Ang dami mong makikita ang aquarium. There you go. Name ng channel mo si. Mercy Carp you are in. Kasama ko si Gerald Dreamers. Ipa-flash ko po yung kanyang channel and of course si Anthony. Ay ang aquarium oh. Nai-enjoy mo rin yung magandang view while you enjoy the food. And of course, andyan din si Ash Velasco. Ayun! Um, I'm Kyle. Uh, my name is John Kyle Velasco. So, 
ako ang nag um, basically ako nag manage ng cafe but itong cafe is owned by a family so ako si Kylie which is uh, overseas si Ma'am Karen um, nagtuturo sa ngayon uh, saka sila magkakapatid and dito rin si Ma'am Aya Ma'am Aya um, from Papay sila yung gumagawa ng cakes natin Hello. pastries, breads and may isa pa lang may isa pa silang sister na sa overseas so hindi pa sila makauwi uh, so kami kami na lang yung nagtutulungan as of now dito sa physical kasi kami yung mga nandito yung culture explain ko lang sa culture kasi yung kinoday tsaka kamote uh, way back from our ancestors pa okay. so yung kinoday or kiniin or sa iba smoked meat pa rin <laughs> Yes. So, nag-isip sila kung paano natin i-store ang ating meat. Eh, noon, buto pa yung mga katay ng mga baboy, baka. So, namin i-preserve yung identity na rin ng Cordillera, na which is itong mga kamote, inoday or kiniing. Tsaka yung kamote, um, substitute ng mga rice. Dati, kung walang mga panira pa yung mga rice natin, o iba, kamote ang ginagamit natin. Rice, gano'n. We came up with four C's, no, yung future, because we'd like to, uh, now we, we're promoting the use of our local ingredients. Kinoday, uh, kiniin, or etagtaw, no, sabi sa research, no, it's been uh, term best etag overall, yung process ng meat, no, using our cultural practices. And also, uh, coffee, no, since it's also one of our main products. And also um, kamote, okay, the sweet potato. And uh, we also try to incorporate yung mga traditional or yung mga local ways of preparing these uh, food ingredients. No? And then uh, with community, it's because we partner with our community producers. So we try our best to, to, to partner with our um, sweet potato producers. Another one is uh, our coffee. Our coffee is a source from a local um, local uh, uh, roaster. roaster. So she's a yes, small-time roaster from the locality who also partners with uh, um, coffee producers in our locality. So um, it's our coffee is um, single origin. So um, na identify yung ating coffee kung saan siya galing. Kaya meron siyang like kung saan altitude and all because the roaster really identifies kung saan din galing. So, siya na yung magmamimili, siya na yung gagawa ng selection and all, and also the roasting process. Um, hand-picked, no? Hand-picked by the Yeah, yeah, it's hand-picked, okay? And uh, since it's a small roaster, uh, talagang na-select siya, no? Mayroon siyang quality check, so, ayun. And uh, aside from that, yung ating kinoday din, it's also partner with a um, home-based uh, mothers, you know? Okay. And uh, she's using yung uh, procedures of cooking the way they really do the smoking. Also the reds, no? yung papay. For now, we have started also using yung ating Benguet cacao for our cakes. It will be uh, giving you as your dessert para matase din yung paggamit ng cacao sa ating uh, cake. So, yeah, that's also one community. So we also connect with no? Dulce for our cacao products that we use. So, So we are all set to taste yung kanilang mga relos. Nagugutom na ako.
yung kanilang vegetable salad. So sa mga vegetarians po, pwedeng pwede po kayong pumunta dito. And meron silang ayan, sauce na, na mixture of vinegar and extracted na lemon. Annalyn, okay ka lang? Pwede ka na rin kumain. toppings na vegetables and of course yung kanilang signature na quinoa dining. Oo nga napakaganda din ng kanilang goal because they partner with the local traps with the local farmers na tutulungan din nilang ma-market ng tama yung kanilang mga products. And eto na titikman na natin siya. Napakaganda ng presentation niya instead of using the bread. Sweet potato na ang ginamit. Ang sarap nito, grabe. There you go. Kamote siya talaga. Kamote, kamote. It's another innovative presentation ng sweet potato. Only in fish bowl. <laughs> Very much satisfied ako sa aking craving sa fishbowl menus. Sarap. And so it's our turn to taste the chocolate cake of fishbowl. Na ang ginamit nila dito ay yung product ng Dolce Chocolates. 
So choco moist yung kanila bread and then sort of. Nagulat ako dun sa ano pag pag subo ko ganyan, yung yung aroma niya, tsaka yung taste niya, lumabas agad. Ito din yung gustong-gusto kong inaamoy sa cacao powder namin. Di ba ang bango? Para siya yung Hershey's na ano, ang, ang bango. Mas makaamoy mo siya pag kinain mo na siya. Pilip mo na. Ubus na. din to. Grabe. Nag-register sa akin yung taste ng cake. Hindi kayo magsisisi dito. Umorder na kayo yung buo. <laughs> Tingin ko ito yung sinasabi ni Ma'am kanina na matitikman mo yung pagkakaiba sa other cakes na commercial chocolate yung gamit nila rather than using the cacao powder. And I'm also promoting my cacao powder. Sarap, I love it. We are already on our second round of our tasting dito sa fish bowl. And we have here chocolate drink. Ang ginamit nila dito ay ang product ng Dolce Chocolates with a twist of marshmallow, my favorite, my kids' favorite. And we also have here, i-close up ko mamaya yung presentation ng, ng chocolate drink nila. And we also have here, uh, small pieces parang uh, chocolate drop so ito yung unang titikman natin <laughs> ayan po be careful po sa pag-inom ng chocolate drink dahil hindi siya mausok pero sobrang init po niya baka mapasok po tayo and of course we have here Napakasarap na bread. Ayan. So, dalawang klase siya ng bread. Iba yung presentation ng isa. And we have another presentation here sa baba. And, of course, kamote chips. Mahilig ako sa mga ganito. And, our very own cocoa powder na ginamit sa paggawa ng chocolate cake with edible flour. And, innovative presentation ng kanilang sweet potato as para siyang replacement ng rice. Ayan. Napili nila ito because of its health benefits kasi mas mababa yung kanyang glycemic index compared sa rice which is pwede sa mga diabetic. And, may ulam ka na din. Of course, kinuday ulit. And with a side dish of cherry tomato, mushroom, and corn. Ayan, tikiman time na tayo. Sabi ka naman siya, hindi yung mungusok, pero May kinunday din siya sa loob and cheese sa mga cheese lovers like me nako magugustuhan mo to Ang 
masarap ng combination ng cheese together with the kinudai and the vegetables and of course yung crunchy na bread nila. Ito naman ibang klase naman ito ng breads. Crispy. Mm. 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 Makikita mo yung mga herbs na ginamit nila. Kung may mga vegetables talaga sa loob. Grabe! Over to the max. Ang ginagawa mo kumain ka na. Yes sir, what can I do for you? Ash Velasco, please do subscribe sa kanyang channel. Ipa-flash po ulit natin yung kanyang channel. Ang sarap siyang i-combine. Crispy din yung kamote chips nila. May pang ginagawa niyo, Fambam? Hindi na, dito na sa fishbowl. Dine-in na. Pwede din kayo mag-take out. Sobrang sarap ng mga pagkain. Hindi ko maiwanan ito para matikman ko sana to. Parang gusto ko ubusin muna to, tapos lipat ako dito, and then lipat ulit ako dito sa cake. Grabe. At laki din ng kanilang servings. Narinig ko si Uncle Ash kanina. Sinasabi niya na pwedeng good for two, which is correct kasi dalawang klase ng bread with kamote chips. Ayan, yung kanina flour is edible. This is also my first time to try edible flour. So, I'm going to taste it. And sasabihin ko sa inyo kung ano ang lasa niya. Ganito pala ang lasa ng bulaklat. <laughs> In all fairness, ha, nakainlan na ako pero gusto ko pa rin tumikim. Try mo, masalap. Meron siyang konting bitter taste. Pero hindi naman siya ganun ka-bitter. Konting, 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 konti lang talaga. The good thing about their cake is that kapatid din nila yung nagbibake, sariling kanila din ito. Kaya kung gusto nyo din magpa-bake for all occasions like birthday, graduation, lahat ng events, pwede nyo silang i-message para magpagawa din kayo ng cake. Kung gusto nyo din mag-try ng kakaibang cake. Welcome to Fishbowl Kitchen Cafe. So, today, I'm gonna try to share um, our personal gathered information about coffee, how to provide a good coffee um, using pour over coffee. We're gonna use uh, coffee beans from Itogon using dry process. Um, yung coffee natin pala is um, supplied by coffee, C-O-P-H-I, uh, kay Ma'am Junilin sa kanya lahat ng aming coffee beans as of now. So, stop. start. Let's try um, Itogon dry. Ang sinusunod namin na 
measurements, measurements of beans is 13 grams per cup per 250 ml of water. So, the measure of 13 grams. So, ang sinusunod namin na grinds ng beans is uh, medium to fine. So, as of now, ito yun ang sinusunod namin na standards sa coffee beans namin. Grind, kailangan natin i-heat ang ating filter and kailangan natin i-preheat. So, tapos, the reason why na gumagamit tayo ng um, thermometer for water, um, hindi natin po pwedeng gamitin yung uh, water nga too hot. Yung kaboboy lang ng water, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yun since ang magiging taste ng coffee beans natin is burnt. Uh -huh. So we have to let the heat uh, go colder a bit, konti lang, at least around 90. Okay. There you go. Then ang first pour natin, uh, ang ginagawa ko is uh, magpupour ako ng hot water till I reach 50 gram, uh, 50 ml of, of weight then I stop and let it rise for 30 seconds so itong pinatawag nila na nag bloom The more na mas freshly roasted ang beans, the more na makikita niya yung blue na mag -rise. Okay. Okay. Bango na, bango na Our pour over coffee from this bowl kitchen. Bow. And so we are all done dito sa fish bowl and grabe busog na busog kami. Hindi lang ako, even yung mga kasama kong vloggers. And ayan, guys, please do visit fish bowl here in KM4, La Trinidad. Thank you so much. Magpapaalam na kami. It was fun eating here at Fishbowl.